Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. This is Alex Hormozzi. From broke gym owner to building a $100 million portfolio, he decoded business like a math problem. And he doesn't gatekeep. So let's get started. First, as usual, I will right click here, new item and select color mate. Make sure to set the reel resolution, then click OK and select this white gray background and then click OK, rename it and then also bring it to the timeline and make sure to adjust the length of this to according to your video so if we see even our video with the first animation we have this coming here and then these so first we will uh, make the whole frame then the, we will animate it so i will go in premiere pro uh, and i will bring in this harmozy image this is like this so i will just go to effects control and simply just make sure to scale it up to the extent like this now I will go here and I will type in Alex and I will just make sure to select it. Go to essential graphics, scroll down, change the font, font to, I will change the font to this and to change the color, I will change the color to, and I will click OK. So this will be our color. I will go to figure than usual. I will place it right here and for the hormozy I will duplicate this layer and simply bring it down and I will hormozy type in this and i will make the alex smaller to compare to harmozy place it here and for the harmozy i will just scale it down a bit because it's a long word or i will just go to initial graphic just change the font to something else i will use this font capital scale it down a bit now this is looking good so i will place it is here and alex will be here so we need to bring this back to the character so i will just place here and then i will make sure to select the image and bring it upwards and bring these down so it will be behind the image like this you can just change the font of alex to like this and check here to make it bold letters into effects control and make it bigger so this is looking cool now i will go to the hair and bring in these as well and i will go to effects and apply a tint effect to it go to effects control and i will make the color of these both to uh, this one too and now i will go to here and simply just bring it upwards and downwards also you can just rotate it a bit and like this make it smaller yes this is looking cool now i will make another copy of it now this for this i will just bring it to upwards to the other side something like this now this is done not we need to do we need to rotate them so how can we do that i will just add a rotation keyframe at the start move a few frame like this and i will make it to 200 give us this animation i will select both and then ease in like this and you can just to make the animation now i will just copy do this i now i'll just do the same with the others as well i will add a, at the start and if we move i will make it to 200 so this will be our animation and for the text you can just simply type in this text and like this now when, what we need to do we need to create the whole animation so how can we do that i will just select all the layers except the background and make sure to nest them like this now what we need to do i will just add a scale and position keyframe at the start move as our final position where this ends here and at the start i will make sure to bigger and from here background and i will set both right click temporal and ease in them so it will be coming from here and for the hormozy one i will go back and select the hormozy text i will add a position keyframe to it move as it as our final position and at the start i will bring it a bit downwards as well if we go back we can see our whole animation will be looking like this if i will move again make sure to just ease in these keyframes as well and i will save the project so our first uh, animation is ready and for this uh, a plate of blur and this so how can we create that i will just uh, go to nested sequence go to effects and i will search for i will go bring in gaussian blur to this layer and go to effects and i will make sure to just i will add a bit of blur like this to this one and i will just copy this blur and paste it to the above layer as well so our whole animation will be looking like this like this you can just simply animate it and for the 
chromatic abbreviation i will search chromatic you can just simply apply this to this layer and now go to effects control simply just change the point of interest to here and i will make the abbreviations to something like this and you can just see the difference as well so this is how you can create this now if we move forward this animation moves and this comes so how can we create that you can simply create this text use premiere composer or just the position keyframes i will show you how you can animate this and these as well so i will delete the chromatic abbreviation from here for now and if we move here i will just right click here new item and then select a color mate make sure to set it to this resolution i will make the color this click ok and i will bring into the timeline right here and i will go to effects control simply scale it down make sure to uncheck uniform scale and i will scale width will be thing like this i will add position and scale with keyframe move them as our final position and at the start it will be like here and it will be like this so this will be our animation i will just select both right click and then also ease in them as well so this is our animation now if we move here we will see image comes from bottom so how can we create that and these dumbbells so i will just bring in this dumbbell here and i will go to effects control simply scale it down and i will just place it right here like this and i will make the opacity to now i'll make it copy and simply just bring it down as well so now if we see the images first we have this image of our muzi then a bit of match cut so how can we create the match cut effect so first we have this image this one so i will bring in this where our hole is animated and i will here i will just bring the color mate to this length and these will be extended too now if we see i will just go to effects control and i will bigger and i will go to crop search for crop effect and bring into this image as well go to effects control select the crop tool and i will crop the image to something like as well now go to effects control again and i will just scale it down a bit and place it right here now this is a black and white image so i will just search for black and white and i will just apply this black and white to this image as well so now we need to create match cut so what we need to do we will create the same length images so i will keep the length to this length is okay and now what we need to do i will just bring in the other images as well i will bring in this image and place it above cut it to the length of the same video and for the next image we have this image i will bring it here first i will go to effects and i will add a crop effect to it crop effect first i need to just zoom it a bit to make sure to understand it and i will select crop tool i will just crop it to this extent uh, like here this one too and this now i will just zoom it a bit place it under a circle like this is okay now if i will just make sure to bring this down the timeline and place it here and also i will cut it to the length of the others images to make the match cut and at last we have other two images the mustache one so we will do the same with this image as well go to effects control simply just make it a bit here and i will go to effects make sure to apply crop effect to it and i will just select the crop tool and i will just crop the image and make sure this is set to this so i will crop the image to now i will just place the image right here and then again i will just bring this image here like this and cut it to the part we need now once this is done i will just bring these images according to one another like this and i will place them so this will create us a bit of match cut we just need to make sure our lengths are okay now like this i will place it here and this is a bit slow so i will go to first image i will copy the black and white effect and i will paste it to this this and this as well so all the images so what we do i will just select all these press ctrl r and i will set the resolution select it to first i will make it zero zero so it will be a bit faster now 
we'll just place the next one another like this so it will create us a cool match cut effect now if we move forward we have the text so can you simply create this and for this drop shadow i will just select the color mate go to facts and i will search for drop shadow effect and just bring it to this now go to facts control and i will make sure to set the opacity like this and i will make the distance to this increase the softness as well and i will show to again change the distance increase the softness like this so this will be our drop shadow and if we move forward we have this animation money flowing you can just add these and now for this text this is the animation you can see this one so how can we create that first we need to just make sure to again go to project and i will for this this white project i will bring in this layer as well now i will go to facts control and simply just bring it downwards like this now i will go to this now i will bring in this image right here and just go to facts control and i will zoom it to this length and just try this one this is okay now if we see we have all these and i will create this is i will create this one so you can uh, how what what we do what we did in the start like this we added a position and scale keyframes so can we can create that and for the 100 million text i will just uh, add a 100 and i will type in million i will select both go to essential graphics and i will change the font to this for example and i will uncheck this one when i will go to this and change the color of this to white now i will select this rectangle tool right here and i will make a rectangle around this one now i will scroll down disable the stroke and enable the fill and i will make the fill color to this and i will bring this upwards and bring this downwards so this will be our text so how can we animate this i will select both these and make them unnested now what we need to do i will go to facts control and add a random mask around this one we'll make it like this now what we need to do, i will add a mask path keyframe move this our final position and at the start i will bring this to the start where this vanishes so it will give us this animation but we can just do that i will just make sure to uh, add delete this one and you can just simply create the mask like this so what if we move forward this portfolio so how can we create this we will just need to create the same uh, uh, everything will be same but what we need to do i will just copy it bring it here i will make it a bit smaller this will be upwards and this will be downward like this for this one i will add a position keyframe like here and then just simply move this as our final position and at the start i will just bring it here so it will move move from here like this so you can just uh, select both right click and then just ease in them so the whole animation will be like this we will just create these mask paths and all the masks so i will move this when the move these keyframes so it will from here and for the mask path i will delete the mask as well it will be moving like this now if we move forward we have this animation these money so i don't need find so i only found this money set from youtube i will just right click unlink and just delete this and i will go to effects control effects and search for ultra key apply it to this now i will select this dropper tool delete this and you can just simply place it wherever you want to you can also make a bit of copy and not we need to do i will just go to here and search for basic 3d and i will apply it to this as well go to fax control simply drag it downwards and you can just make sure to adjust these properties to make this many appear uh, on another frame like this now if we move forward you can just create this text for this animation how can we create that uh, this is ending here so this is the animation so how can we create that i will uh, copy cut this and copies upwards like this and now i will go to effects control and simply first i will disable this to view my whole point i will enable uniform scale i will just make sure to make it like this and make it like now what i need to do i will we need to make sure it is different from the white background so i will add a drop shadow to it like this and i will make sure to change its color to white and i will just increase these values like this and for to animate this i will add a scale width keyframe at the start and i will just make it 
like this and if we move i will make it like this so it will cover the whole screen so as we see it will be like this one so that's all for today if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye